Welcome to Electro Online. A few videos ago, we saw that there was a line represented by these parametric equations and a plane that was represented by this equation, and that line and that plane were not parallel to one another. So if a line is not parallel to a plane, that means somewhere that line must intersect that plane. Let's go find that point of intersection. How do we do that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the values for x, y, and z in terms of the parametric variable t into the other equation. In other words, we're going to solve the equations of the line and the equations of the, of the plane simultaneously. So let's see what that looks like. So instead of x, we're going to plug in 3 plus 8t. So that gives us 3 plus 8t minus 3 times y, which is 4 plus 5t, plus 5 times z, which is minus 3 minus t, and that should equal 12. So now notice we have the equation of the plane in terms of the parametric variable of the parametric equation of the line. So let's solve that equation for t gives us 3 plus 8t minus 12 minus 15t minus 15 minus 5t is equal to 12. So leaving all the t's on one side, all the numbers on the other side, we get 8t minus 15t minus 5t is equal to 12 minus 3 plus 12 and plus 15. So that gives us minus 20t plus 8, that's minus 12t, is equal to 24, 34, 39, minus 3, which is 36, which means that t is equal to minus 3. Now that we know what t is, we can solve for the three variables x, y, and z. So this becomes 3 plus 8 times a negative 3, which is equal to negative 24 plus 3, which is a negative 21 y becomes 4 plus 5 times a negative 3, so that's negative 15 plus 4, which is negative 11, and z becomes minus 3 minus a minus 3, so that would be plus 3, that's equal to 0. So those, those are the coordinates, x, y, and z, of the point where the line matches the plane, in other words, where it intersects the plane. And so the point of intersection, therefore, becomes minus 21, minus 11 and 0 and that's where the line cuts through the plane and that is how it's done.